heading off to the park over here where they got these uh, I hope they come out today the little coty they're the Mexican raccoon long nose long tail but they have a mask like a raccoon so they call them the Mexican Cancun or the Mexican raccoon not Cancun and they're supposed to have wild boar in here I don't know if I'd want to be met by one of those they might bite you so we'll just see what they got but it's quite a walk to get to the entrance it's all fenced off and the forest is so dense that there's no possible way you could even walk in there as you can see it's very dense and I don't know why they got the power poles on the inside of the fence. How do you fix anything? So it's down quite a ways yet. But they close at 6 and I think it's 4. So I got to get in there. And they have possums. Looks like. So this will be interesting. Let's go down and see what we've got. Catch up with you when we get there. And it just rained, well, several times today already, but it's so humid. You don't even need to take a drink. You just breathe. And we're coming up to the corner here. Then we turn the corner and then it's another several hundred meters down and we finally get to the park entrance. I don't know when they have park people coming to clean up, but look at this. All the garbage cans are like that. And if they had a place where you could take empty bottles and get money for them, I could become rich here. They don't have that. So there's bottles everywhere. Like in Canada, There's guys that go around and look just for bottles only. So there's the park over there we're going to. But look at these trees. Huge leaves on a small tree. Now I hope I get to see those little animals. A Mexican raccoon called the coati. Here's some more flowers. I wish I knew Mexican a lot better than I do. But right here, last time I was in here, I was looking at this sign here. Okay, the first place we go, we're at number seven. Right here last time, there was 20 or more of these Mexican raccoons called coati. C-O-A-T-I, coati. I don't see them here right now, but I was hoping to see them. So a little farther down the line, we'll take the drone out, the Avata, and we'll have a short flight here. But I didn't find them today. Oh, here's one. Hello. See this little guy? Look at him. He's looking for food. Threw something down there, he don't like it. But I found one today. Look how they dig with their nose. All right, here comes another one. 
Look at them. How close they get. You gonna come up and smell me? Ah, I'm gonna sit down. I wish I'd have brought some food now. That could have been a male. Here's another one. I guess the older males uh, are on their own. And the younger ones, see these do look like raccoons. They have a, a white and black mask. But the other day they were on the sidewalk with me and there was 20 of them or more. And, uh, oh, they're all, there's a whole bunch coming here, guys. A whole bunch of them. Let's see if I can call some out. There's one there. Look at them. There's nothing that can show you their scale of these things, but they're anywhere from 5 to 20 pounds. These look like they're more in the five to ten pound range. I don't see any young ones yet. But they're just foraging. Like crazy, they're digging around under things and it's a good thing they don't attack people. <laughs> and you can see how they dig and forage. And they you can see that one there has rings on his tail. And they're a darker color than they say the South American ones are. There's a whole bunch of them here. Oh, they come down from the trees. Look at that. So I'm counting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All of a sudden they're off like a shot. Wow! Something spooked them. Something spooked them. They're gone gone like a shot there's not one here and they they scatter in a second look at this guy here oh they're all coming back how come you guys ran away the last time huh why did you run away Look at their long nose. Look at that, guys. I think he's probably checking me out. Yes, that's a male. Catch the balls? He smells something's important underneath there. He's trying to get at it. There's so much the same color as the forage, as the, the plants, that you can't hardly see them on the camera. I hope you can see them anyway. Well, I don't know how to attract them closer. When I coughed, he ran away. Or they all ran away. All of them. jumped to another tree now he's coming down again wow they can climb pretty good no noise totally silent okay guys let's go get some food for supper tonight let's see what we can find <laughs> 